Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight for News Press Now. I'm Charles Christian. Well, classroom attendance rates in St. Joseph remain a serious problem, and News Press Now's Marcus Clem brings us this special report about this issue. Marcus? In St. Joseph, the monthly satisfactory attendance rate is down less than 78%. Put another way, more than one in every five students is not showing up to school at the rate that they should. At some schools, only about half of all students meet the nine in every 10 hours attendance standard. Lindbergh Elementary reported a satisfactory attendance rate of just under 50% for the month of March. Most of its kids are thus below the standard. One Lindbergh parent says she is concerned about the ongoing climate of bullying at the school, which puts pressure on students to stay home. I know my kids in the beginning didn't want to come um, because of the bullying issues. I called the schools and, you know, um, it's fixed now for the most part, but there's still days that they don't want to come to school for that reason, so that could be why. The state of Missouri expects all school districts to maintain attendance at above 80%. This and other criteria, if not followed, can contribute to a loss of accreditation. The State Board of Education would then intervene and decide what happens after that. Another Lindbergh parent I spoke to says she cannot make sense of why the district has not yet been able to solve this problem. Is there one thing you think the district could do that it's not doing now to improve attendance, not just at Lindbergh, but at other schools like it? I really don't have an answer for that. I don't, I try to get my, make my kid go to school unless he's like running a fever or really sick. I don't tend to keep him home. There's just gotta be a reason why they're not going to school. Upon taking the oath of office on April the 15th, new Board of Education member Rhonda Chesney set to work on resolving the problem. A veteran teacher herself, she says the source of the issue is likely based on a legacy of the pandemic, and it is important to start now on restoring parent-teacher relationships. Since during COVID, families were not not allowed in the buildings, and that I feel like has become kind of the new normal that families don't come and participate in schools. Um, as much as they did pre-COVID, therefore those positive relationships with the teacher and the principal um, are not being formed. I take a deeper look at these truancy trends in our story at newspressnow.com. From the newsroom, I'm Marcus Clem. Back to you.